Guys, we're just like we're just like surrounded by abandoned buildings. Everything here is abandoned. Cinematic Seth here, back with another abandoned video. I'm here at an abandoned state school. It's been abandoned for so many years, I don't even know. I'm gonna give you the history in a minute, but right now I'm in here with my buddy Clinton and his girl Helena. We're gonna go and we're gonna check this place out. Let's go. This state school was opened in 1888 for feeble-minded children with mental and developmental disabilities. Consisting of mostly boys, it held 2,500 people in 72 buildings on 196 acres of land. Not all of the children were actually mentally disabled. Some of them had perfectly normal IQs but were categorized as morons simply because their families didn't want them. These kids spent their entire lives in the school, completely isolated from the outside world. In 1946, the school adopted the idea of eugenics, which is the science of improving a human population by controlled breeding. Up until 1953, they conducted a series of secret medical experiments on the children at the school that included illegal radiation testing using oatmeal, along with radioactive iron and calcium. Quaker Oats sponsored the experiments and supplied the oatmeal. The school came up with a gimmick to get the kids to participate in the experiments called a science club that offered larger portions of food, parties, and trips to the Boston Red Sox baseball games as incentives. 57 kids joined and were given the radioactive oatmeal to eat on a daily basis. Prolonged exposure to the radiation in the food caused many cases of thyroid cancer and many other deformities. There were also many reports of physical and sexual abuse during the experiments. Neither the children nor their parents knew what was really going on until it was too late. The living conditions were horrible. The staff forced 36 or more children to live and sleep in the same room. In 1988, a lawsuit was filed by the state and the district court awarded the victims and their families a $1.85 million settlement from the school and the sponsors of the experiments. In the 21st century, the school became a full-blown insane asylum for adults, but it was brought to a humane standard. It was sold to the city for $3.7 million after the last patient was discharged in 2014. The city has tried to turn it into a high school and a police station since they bought it, but it still remains abandoned. So we're in this like, we're in this like shop looking area, like um, if it was a school, like a trade school, you would come to school to learn your trade and you know, this might be like a welding area or something. And I guess some people came in here and needed some kind of backdrop for a photo shoot or something. They got this like floral print blanket right here. That's so weird. So remember that turkey that I was telling you about that we ran into? So when we came in, we came through over there, right? So you came in and the turkey was like right over here by these windows flying around. He flies in the air twice and tries to get out of this window and he hits himself on the window like head first. So I don't know if you can see it but he's literally right there in that corner. It doesn't look like much right now but he's just he's just chilling over there. So we're just having a photo shoot in here. We're having Clinton stand on these washing machines back here. Look at this thing. Talk about getting creative with your pictures. This is definitely one way to do it. Down there is stuff we haven't seen. 
some artwork on the wall. Who would just throw a painting in the toilet like this? It's messed up. Damn, that's uh, that's probably water damage. Oh sh that's a big ass spider. No, no, <laughs> no. Dude, I thought spiders died oh. in the winter. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Unless they adapt. <laughs> They're mutating. <laughs> right. Guys, we're just like we're just like surrounded by abandoned buildings. Like look at this. <laughs> Everything here is abandoned. So the thing about this place is that it's not just one single building, not one single school. There's the, the main office, which is like the admin building, I guess, and then there's a series of other buildings. I don't know if that would be classified as the dormitories or if it's just like, you know, workplaces that the kids used to be. But we're traveling from each building and working our way through the little the little village, I guess. Okay, so we found another abandoned building. A lot of these places are just wide open. It's so weird. There was almost no attempt to blow this place up at all. Ow. That's not good. Wow, this place is like deteriorated. Look at the paint. It's all chipping. This looks like it was some kind of warehouse. Guys, this place, this place is just like, this building actually is just so trashed. The paint is chipping off. There's mold everywhere. Like, dude, this, this place is crazy. Like, guys, look at, look at this one building right here. Well, this one part of the building. You can see all the paint chipping from the ceilings and stuff. Yeah, this is this was the cafeteria for sure. I don't know exactly how they had things set up in here. But this was definitely like at least the, this was at least the cooking room because like, there's a ton of equipment. <laughs> Must have just been where the where they cooked all the food and stuff. Oh, of oh, course, cool. yeah. See, look, this book right here. It says food temp logs. There's handwriting in it and everything. Yeah, so this this is where they cooked all the food for the students, the children that were here. I didn't even see these freezers. I kind of just walked right past them. Imagine you open it and there's like a dead body oh in there God, or something. <laughs> we're like, we're like, 
flipping the zombie apocalypse without the zombie. That's what they said, literally. <laughs> like we're over here, like, you know, bam, 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 bam. That's right. So if the apocalypse ever does come, we'll know. Right? We'll know what yeah. to do. We'll know all the places to hide. Yeah, we need to go for the Open it? Yeah, I don't know, I just want to see what's inside. What comes flying out? Hey, don't forget about the turkeys. Mm -hmm. Seriously, that turkey was wild. Yeah, these are like microwaves or like high-powered microwaves. But it doesn't open? Yeah, I couldn't get it to open. Oh, I was just... I got it. You got to lift up the latch, that's fine. <laughs> All of these things say out of order, like, as if something was wrong with them. I mean, you know, they did kind of give radiation, radiation to kids, so. Yeah. It turns out that this place actually has its own um, power generator, so this particular building still has power. What's that sound? It's the generators. Wow, this is crazy. Look at this hallway, guys. Is this like more food storage? Yeah, it must be the basement. Like, I can't even believe this place. Like, the there's rust all over the floor. Mm -hmm. The ceiling's falling apart. And the place still has power. It's crazy. There's, there's like seven freezers in this one hallway. This place is wild, guys. That basement looked like it was straight out of Resident Evil. That place was crazy. So that was building four. Now we're gonna move on to building number five. There's this creepy chair just sitting in the middle of the floor. Next to all this. Good job, Helena. Check it out, there's an old TV right there. <laughs> and right here it looks like it looks like it's um a lacrosse mask. Oh probably I thought it was a football of it. Looks like someone broke down this little piano. Oh. But um, I guess there's multiple floors to this building. But first, we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna check out the first floor, and then we'll head up. This way, we don't get um, disorganized. You know, this wheelchair is like this is actually the first time I've ever seen a wheelchair in an abandoned place before. Wow, that's, that's wild, dude. I've never seen that before. This, this building, like, looks trash. Another fireplace with, like, seven TVs in front of it. Well, you know, like, some people really enjoy to watch TV at the fireplace. It's weird, like, this place... It isn't an, an insane asylum, but it definitely, this building at least, definitely has the look of one. Damn, this room looks trashed. Oh, man. Dude, this room is like beyond decayed, bro. This is crazy. where the floor should be. The ceiling is just like gone. Everything's rusted. I'm not gonna go over here, but check out this little cubicle area. There's a piano right there. This is what I mean about the moss, look at this. It's just like right by the windowsill. There's moss everywhere. Even, even where I'm standing. It's just, it's just here. 
crazy. This place is wrecked. I don't even know where to go first. Let's go left. Ooh, that's not safe floor. At all. See, look at that. The floor is actually rising and we're on the second floor. That's, that's not good. I'm not even gonna bother trying to go in here. That's uh, that's that's death right there. Let's hope that the floor in here is better than the one that we just tried. Yeah, this floor is fine. This is a cool looking room. Probably just another office. So I just picked up one of these cans right here. You know, just to mess around with it. And there's literally still food in the can. I can feel it. This is apparently Campbell's cheddar cheese. And this one is ocean spray jelly to cranberry sauce. That's disgusting. Alright, I'm gonna head to the to the um, the last hallway. This floor though, dude, is crazy. Look at this room, bro. Look at the floor. It's literally caving in. We're on the second floor, bro. That's crazy. Oh, I definitely gotta walk on the edges in here because this floor is rising everywhere, dude. Crazy chair. Literally trashed, man. Oh, someone came and graffitied this. Graffiti all over this room, and it's not even good graffiti either. You got a killer view from this window, though. Check it out. So, it looks like the top floor here was all just offices, there's paperwork scattered everywhere. Pretty much all the rest of this building. There's a ton. In this building in particular, there was a ton of stuff just left here, forgotten and abandoned. All right, guys. So we're heading back to the car now. We're gonna go home. We were in there for a long time, and it's cold. We're hungry. Helena's got to pee. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's so many buildings to that place. We 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 only did five. There's gotta be at least five to ten more buildings if that we'll be back eventually i guess this is gonna be a two-part video so i'm cinematic seth and i'll see you guys next time peace oh yeah guys i forgot to mention i don't know if you saw in the video but i was wearing the best merch on youtube Big thank you to Exploring with Josh. 
for hooking all of his fans up with some limited edition Rise Above merch. It's dope. It's good stuff. And if you haven't bought anything yet, you're missing out. But yeah, guys, so that was the first part of this video. I'm eventually going to go back to that state school, and I'm going to go and explore the rest of the buildings. I just didn't have the time today. I was cold. We were all cold. We were hungry. Our batteries on our cameras and stuff were dying. We just we couldn't do it. We couldn't do all all those buildings. I, there's like 15 buildings there, guys. It's not It's not as easy as it looks. So yeah, guys, I'm Cinematic Seth. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe. Like this video, share it with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!